Hello, my name is Thiago Tempo and today I'm going to talk about two of the new keywords in year 6, let and const. Before explaining let and to better understand it, let's rapidly review how variable declaration works in ES5. To declare a variable, one would use the keyword var. So, to have a variable name, I could type var name equals something, for instance. The important thing with var is that the scope of the variable is the function where it's contained. Let's say the variable name was declared inside a function called person. This variable could be accessed anywhere inside the function and even before its declaration. It would have a value of undefined, but it would not throw an error. That's because all variables declared using var are hoisted, which is the same as saying that all variables are declared at the top of the function. So this code is the same as the previous version. Another important thing about var is that no matter how many times we declare a variable, if it's in the same scope and it has the same name, it's the same variable. So, if I declare a variable name at the top of the function and another variable name inside an if block or a for loop, it's always the same variable. One last thing about var, before we start talking about let. When declaring a variable using var in a for loop, the variable being the created always have the same binding. So, if, if we reference this variable in a callback function, the variable would have the last value assigned to it. So in this for loop, for instance, the array numbers contains the value 5 5 times, because when the setTimeout function is executed, it will access the last value assigned to i. So now let's talk about let. The first thing about let is that it's blocked scope, meaning that if I declare a variable inside an if block, for instance, its scope is that if block. As you can see, is if I try to access it outside of the of the if block, an error is thrown. Another way that let differs from var is that we can't declare a variable with the same name in the same scope. But two variables with the same name and in different blocks are allowed because they have different scopes and thus are different variables. Let also solves the problem with the for loop. When declaring a for loop with a let variable, each iteration of the loop will have a new binding to the variable. So, if we get back to our for loop example from, from before, and we change the i declaration from var to let, we will have an array with the values from 1 through 5. One last thing about let. Variables declared using the let keyword won't be hoisted. So, if I declare a variable and try to access it before its declaration, a, a reference error will be thrown. Differently from var, where we could access the variable, but would have an undefined value as a result. So, when should I use var and when should I use let? Well, I guess... If you knew all those quirky behaviors from var declarations and were expecting one of those, you should still be using var. Otherwise, there is no reason I can see for not using let. I think the way let declarations behavior are more similar to the way other languages behavior when declaring variables, which for most people is easier to understand and to write code with fewer bugs. Now let's move on to the const keyword. The const keyword is really simple. It is, as expected, a way to declare a constant in JavaScript. The syntax is also very simple. We just use const, we give it a name and a value. A constant cannot be declared without a value. A syntax error will be thrown if you try to do that. A constant is also blocked scoped so we cannot access it outside its scope or a reference error will be thrown. And last, constants are not hoisted either, so we cannot access it before its declaration or a reference error will be thrown. 
That's it for today. Thanks for watching.